Abdullah Arif was born in Penang in 1904, eight years after Yong Man Sen, who is equally famous. Together, they are acknowledged as pioneers of Malaysian watercolour painting. Both of them are also included in my two editions of eight pioneers of Malaysia. Compared to Man Sen, Abdullah Arif's works are more European in appearance, being more meticulous in details. He, is, he was a self-taught artist and was an art teacher at Anglo-Chinese School, now known as Penang Methodist Boys School. This painting is the only one of his paintings that I've seen which has a painting on corrugated paper and this has ridges and grooves which gives a three-dimensional effect to the painting making this painting extra special the subject of the painting is the limestone hills probably in Ipoh and the foreground is the coconut tree and the ground in front and the middle ground is the forest and the background are the, are the limestone hills. I obtained this painting from an auction in Christie's, Hong Kong in 2010. I paid more than 10,000 ringgit for it then but now it is worth at least 10 times more because Abdullah Ari's paintings are very, very rare. The reason why his paintings are rare is because he had only three uh, solo exhibitions in his lifetime, and they were all in America. In 1954, he had two exhibitions at Charlotte, and in, 1950, in 1959, he had an exhibition in Washington. He did not have any solar exhibitions in Malaysia and therefore nobody could buy his paintings locally. This is very unlike Mansen, who has numerous exhibitions in Penang, Malaysia and Singapore. Abdullah Arif is one of two local artists who were invited to participate in exhibitions uh, of the British Art Society known as the uh, Penang Impressionists, founded in 1898. He was their art instructor and exhibited with them, but not elsewhere in Penang. In this painting, you see here his signature followed by FRSA, which stands for Fellow of Royal Society of Art. In 1955, he participated in the United Society of Artists Group Exhibition at the Galleries of, of the Royal Society of British Artists in London. As a result, he was elected to Fellowship of the Royal Society of Art. So, from 1955 to 1960, his paintings carried his signature together with FRSA. Therefore, we know now that this painting is painted between the time of 1955 to 1960, when he passed away. So when he passed away, the Penang government decided to honour him by naming two roads after his name. And these roads are known as Jalan Abdullah Arif and Lintang Abdullah Arif, and they are near Chongling High School. To this day, no other artist in Malaysia had been given this honour.